Hi guys, it's Will from One Site Solutions here. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick uh, overview, basic overview of the history grouping module. Um, so first of all, you want to come to your station, uh, come all the way down to history service, expand on the history service and go history groupings. Um, let's just delete them out there. Okay. Um, so first of all, you can you can either create the the new history groupings within the uh, AX history group manager um, by just going OK and just etc. Or you can add them in from the history uh, palette. But for this instance, we're just going to go new. So you want to keep it as a history group. Um, now you want to name this. So say you have a lot of sites uh, in different locations. Uh, so say you have a group of, of sites in London. Um, you want to name this one London. And then these tags are used for the site names within London. Um, so say we've got site one, uh, just as an example. You can then add multiple um, other tags to reference the site name. Um, for this instance, we're just going to do a basic one as we don't have any, uh, we just have the basic uh, histories to put in. Um, so if we cancel them, uh, we'll just call this site one and press OK. Um, and then if you had another group of, of sites all in one location, uh, for instance, let's go Reading um, and just call this site two, so there's no um, communication issues. Um, so we just call this site two. Um, again, you can just add multiple sites in and around that location. Um, but for this instance, we just keep it very simple. Um, so once that's added, you've got the two London and Reading, um, and then you would have multiple tags um, with the actual site names. Uh, so for this, we go down to config and then go views and metadata browser. Now in here, as you can see, it's created two um, folders here with nothing in. Um, so if you came down to all your histories here, for as we said, we've only got you know the basic ones here, um, but you may have loads and loads um, from various different controllers, sites, etc. Um, so what you do is you highlight one that you want to uh, add to a specific group. Press add metadata down at the bottom. Now the new name would be the tag that you used. So for this instance, site site one, um, and then we'd give the this would be the actual name. So it would be the name of the site. Um, so let's just use uh, test site. And then it, it gives the it adds the metadata properties here. Um, so that should be saved now. Um, obviously it hasn't refreshed. Um, but if we just go in and out, history, London, it then creates the test site here. Um, and then you've got everything that you uh, you need within here. Um, so that would be the tag. We would do the same for, for Reading. And um, so if we add metadata, uh, site two. Test site. Cool. And then go in and out again. There you go. So it's then added added them in. Now you can you can obviously add as many tags as you want within the uh, history groupings um, and as many AX history groups as you actually wanted. Um, so if you were to just type in, you know, site two, you could then add more in um, and that saves it and just piles them up like that. Um, same with same with all the others. Um, you can just add as many as you want and um, naming them different different things. It's quite it's quite a handy tool, to be honest. Um, once you get to grips with things as as this is only a basic overview, um, once you start playing around with it yourself, um, there's not much uh, else that you can you can play around with um, more than just adding tags. So this is quite a, as much as it is basic it is all you really need to know. Um, it's just depending on what suits your needs for that specific um, site, supervisor, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, that, that's about it. Um, it was just a quick overview on, on how to use it. Uh, just like a basic, basic guide. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to check out our YouTube video uh, channel for some other videos. We've got a lot of how-to guides and just general knowledge about Niagara. Thanks, guys.